This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Welcome, fish lovers, to Sax Tags, Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today's video is a lot of fun, and it's a longer video. I've been getting a lot of questions why I don't do long videos anymore. I'm never gonna stop making them, I just wanted to try for a while to make short videos so people will really enjoy when I make a long one. So in this video <laughs> I started out talking about I'm gonna rescape the 175 gallon, which I did. But I started out talking about how I'm not supposed not supposed how I'm not going to film it. Because it goes so much faster if you don't film or everything you do so sometimes when I want to get things done I just start working but it was I got in a better mood when I started working with it so I filmed every parts and in-betweens that it's in the video and when I start changing one aquarium I usually change another aquarium since I'm taking a plant from this oh it's an empty spot here or I get a piece of driftwood free from this tank and I want it in this tank so it's pretty much changes to five of my bigger aquariums and a total rescape of the 175. So this video is long but it's a lot of fun and hopefully it's the perfect weekend video. So enjoy guys and stay tuned for my long video. So this is before. And my original plan was endlers and black rose shrimp with the paca. I also have a bunch of plecos in here so I wanted to make that uh, make a big pile of dragonstone so the plecos can hide and the shrimp can hide and a piece of log or driftwood back there so the plecos can hide there from the faka if he starts to get hungry at night and tries to eat them but I lost focus on the big guy or the big girl Miss Sunshine the main reason why I bought this uh, custom made 175 gallon aquarium so the shrimp can live in here if they can live in here in the newscape and same thing with the endlers I'm gonna focus on my fahaka and she is a poop machine so I want a much cleaner scape so the filters can pick up all the debris that is building up in this tank so we're going to totally change this tank. So I am tearing the tank in the hallway down. You can see those amazing plecos. They're a little bit panicked of course because you're moving everything. I have four of those and they are all fully grown. So I am going to do a simple scape and just keep these plecos. I moved the bristle nose as well. Just have four plecos alone and see if they will breed for me. Uh, that's what you, what you should do when you're breeding plecos. I just can't do that when I'm waiting for them to grow up. Just keep a tank with plecos because these L plecos are gonna hide a lot and then you have an empty looking tank. But I was going through all the plants and all the rocks and the Anubias plants had really attach themselves so I'm going to show you Whoop, there we go so I said I was going to throw away all these plants and you can see why on this one I mean not one leaf is good almost okay you could actually save this part if you want that's the new but this is go this is going to my giant ram's horns as food no, it seems like a shame with that ricin, but if all the plants are bad, I mean, I can't trim them off and then put them in again because through the plants is how they get their nutrients. So they're not going to grow anyway unless I want to keep them ugly. And I don't want that. So here we have another one. Same thing not even one good looking leaf so bin that and then we have this one that's 
kind of in between. It almost good, looks good enough. And look at this. I mean, Anubias grows super slow. I might try to cut trim away. No, I just decided this isn't good enough either. No. This isn't good enough. Okay? Can't keep everything. That's how you end up with more aquariums. I have 14, that's enough. And I don't have 14 with a rack system and sponge filters. I have 14 furniture aquariums, if you will. Look at this one. This was the easiest to not keep. Still, I mean, this is the hardest to th throw away. They were super attached to the black rocks. But, big. But this one looks freaking amazing. I know which one this is. This has been with the goldfish in my early videos. Looks super good. I moved it to the turtles. They destroyed it completely, but the root system was good, so I moved it to this tank. And now, this is probably three years old. And this has a lot of good leaves on it. And this is unbeatable, I mean. So, this I'm gonna trim down and save, actually. Or just throw it in here and trim down after it comes back a bit. Now, of course, I'm gonna trim it down while I'm doing this. So that's what I had in here, as you can see, it was filled with Anubias, but none of them looked really good. So then you're just getting stressed out for not keeping a good looking plant attack, at least I do. Um, what else do we have in here? We have more things, we have Microsorum Windelove, this looks pretty good, I'm gonna save this. And we have another piece that looks good also. So we're going to save those. I'm just showing you things while I work here. I'm not sure if you're really interested. So again, I almost didn't show you guys because I wanted to get things done. Cable ties. Zip ties. Drop them in the tank. No. So, this was the Nubius that I chose to keep. And I trimmed the roots and just trimmed the, the leaves that I didn't like right here. So, it's as simple as that. Could have trimmed off more, but I really think I'm gonna attach this one to this Pleco cave. And then I can lift out the Pleco Cave and trim it again. Because if you trim it too hard at once, it can really go back from that and have a hard time coming back. I mean, so now we're gonna attach this like so, and that's why I need these long cable ties because I want to go through the rhizome and around the Pleco cave because not only can you lift them out which is the biggest benefit in my opinion but you can also you don't <laughs> you also don't disrupt it when you when you are doing that because it's it's taking nutrients from the water column not not from the gravel so you can lift it out trim it put it back in and don't do it too hard just so it stays in the same place and even if it tips over on land it's not gonna do that underwater I really don't need to put two cable ties but I'm gonna do that since I want this to stay in position 
no matter what. So, and I usually don't do the extra work when it's not necessary, and I end up regretting it. <laughs> so that's my personality. I want to get things done. I just start doing things fast, and then I regret not doing it. Okay. So I'm before you put them on too tight, make sure it is in the position that you want it. I like it like that. And of course, don't strangle the ricin. The ricin is the thing that holds the roots. And that's actually the thing that you can't plant. You can plant the roots. A lot of people say you can't plant Anubias. You can plant Anubias, but you can't plant the Ryzen. But usually they don't have enough roots, like my crazy one did before I trimmed them, to plant the roots. So we're going to put this in, and of course you're going to take a look at it, but I'm doing a water change here now, so you have to wait and get the look of it when I fill the tank again, okay? kind of regret it when you pull this piece out almost everything is out now and from it just came 300 <laughs> new cardina shrimp can't focus now but it was weird lifting it up it was like kicking a beehive So, of course, we need something for these ones to hide in. Otherwise, the Pahaka is gonna go and get his munchies on and eat them all night long. But see how much debris they collect. No problem if you have small fish, but when the Pahaka poops out hot dogs four times a week, maybe it's not the best thing to have this huge. Look at this yellow fern. This tank is three feet tall so I don't know what, where else to put it but I'm gonna get back to work <laughs> so as soon as I pull things out if they are plants of course I want to put them immediately in another tank so this is the hard escape from this tank if you don't recognize these two it's because they were buried beneath the dragonstone and I showed you the huge piece but I didn't show you that I emptied this tank before I moved the guppies and these are the other two that were in that tank. So now this tank is full. Even though it was empty before I put in three microswarms. That one, that one and that one. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Not too upset about this tank although I have plants on the way that I wanted to use in this tank and now we're gonna roll with this instead. And I had to put, took out, I took out some Mopani driftwood to put the big boy in here. And we'll see how it goes, but better to put it in here than to put it with the turtles. And those were the only two places that I have space left. This tank doesn't look good anyway, so I just put in this microsorum. This is the microsorum that's having most problems with algae. But as you can see on that plant, this tank is just plecos and endlers. Alright, this video is on Patreon about this tank. That's why you haven't seen it in a while. But back to work on that tank though. I also threw in, threw in more Anubias on, over there. People might look at this aquarium and think Man, he doesn't do his water changes. I can see that. No, no. Yesterday, 90%. I do 90% every five to seven days. This is the debris that was caught between those plants. I think I will keep the cryptocorine plants. I really love them and they grow slow and everything. And I still have this huge piece to do something different with. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a big water change first because I can't look at this. This looks terrible. 
my biggest aquarium looks like shit that's not feeling very good right now but <laughs> I'm, I can fix it I know I can fix it so I will get back to work now it looks like this still a lot of debris I changed 90 percent tried to vacuum out as much as I could but it's super messy in the water column especially for being one of my aquariums I had to throw in a bunch of ram's horns giant ram's horns because now the plecos and the sh uh, <laughs> shrimp can't hide and when they can't hide he gets curious and he gets too curious for my tastes so I think I will take more cryptocurrency plants from another tank and put in so see you guys when I've done that I took it out again I just left the microstorm trident um, that's just katapa leaves that I put in today just to try if I see any different behavior, behavior from the plecos I have plants arriving tomorrow for this tank so I couldn't just throw in throw in uh, microsorum and be done with this tank when I have plants coming tomorrow that in my opinion will be perfect for this tank um, for the, what I have planned at least so that's why but I did do a nice save uh, because I needed those microsorum in another tank so it actually turned out pretty good I'm gonna show you so I went against my gut feeling and took out a lot of the cryptocurrency from this side a lot took that and used it for the Pahaka tank and then this whole base here was empty completely empty and then I just took that microswarm goes back there all the way here I used to have it like that then I laid it down on the bottom and this is the second biggest piece from the Falka tank and back there is the small piece so it turned out pretty good they are super scared of course <laughs> because I hadn't put my hands in this tank for a long time it looks good I mean it looked better with all that cryptocurrency of course but I if I want to save plants I need space for my big tanks if I take something out from a big aquarium I need to put something big in the big aquarium so yeah I'm happy with it I'm gonna show you what I did in the kitchen with the biggest microsorum and then I'm gonna show you the escape Pahaka has and after that even though this video is getting super long after that I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and then plant the cube in the kitchen no <laughs> not in the kitchen in the hallway it's always like that because I have plants if I remove a plant I put it in another tank and maybe I take a plant from another tank and I start working with a lot of aquariums at the same time the, the, the Mopani driftwood that I took out from the kitchen to get the microstorm in Boom! I wanted more Mopani driftwood. I'm gonna take that piece out, I think, because I don't like it when I mix driftwood. It looks so much better when they match. So the that one, that one, that one was in the kitchen. Now I can have them with my beautiful, huge Mopani driftwood piece. Uh. Yeah, so let's go to the kitchen and take a look at the biggest microswarm before we look at the Fahak attack. So the biggest piece, I turned it around and like I said, took out a bunch of driftwood. This piece doesn't look good at all. And it had a lot of algae on it. So this is my only tank where I have a lot of hair algae right now. So I didn't want to spread it to another tank, so the big piece, perfect to put in this tank. The tank that I I'm supposed to not care about, but it 
does bother me that it looks like this. But it shouldn't. <laughs> I really should shouldn't give a shit about this tank and just feed the Endler babies and feed the Plecos and just wait. But we'll see. It looks better than before. I mean, threw in if you threw in a big piece of driftwood with huge microsorm on it or java fern it will instantly look better at least so yeah but now we can go and take a look at the fuck attack finally and all the spare pieces I get I put in with the snails and they love to eat it so this snail is something for you who have a lot of planted aquariums and puffers because you're always gonna get those trimmings and these guys eat they eat plants like crazy like if I put in a big plant and I come back two hours later 40 snails are on the plant so it's not like some snails that will eat algae and plants these snails has plants as their main diet okay Let's go to the back. This isn't the best scape by any means. It won't win any awards or anything. But the Fajaca is so much happier. At least it seems like that. She uses the space and swims around more. And that, to me, that's a sign that she's happy. And I started out getting a custom-made 175-gallon aquarium gallon gallon aquarium to keep my Fahaka buffer in a good home and uh, felt like I was tuning away from that with that huge pile of rocks it looked pretty good but that was only for the black rose shrimp and she's been eating black rose shrimp like crazy now so that's a bummer but you need to stay focused. I mean, like I said, I got the aquarium for her. So, she should be my main concern. And she is. And this simple scape, of course, I took the whole huge uh, cryptocorine plants. And they don't look huge in this tank, but remember, this tank is three feet tall. Three feet tall. So it's a pretty big tank. Mm. Yeah, she's beautiful in it and she gets her space now. And she will get bigger than this, so. And because I have a limited amount of space, I can't buy another bigger aquarium. So I'm happy with the simple scape. I did want a bigger piece of driftwood here, of course, but it's really hard to come by you need to special order one and then you really need to buy like four because some of them are gonna be long branches some of them are gonna be thick big pieces but you never know what you will get so this will work for now this is of course a big risk and she will end up she could end up eating all the tank mates now when none of them can hide at all from her she's a bit feisty she wants her food I'm not gonna give it to her she's been a bit cranky and waiting for the shells to open and then eat them so then I just don't feed her for a while and she gets more hungry and attack them and bite through the shells which is the purpose of giving her clams so this is the escape for now, like I said, I'm gonna search for a big piece of driftwood and put it in there so it looks more natural, but for now, this simple escape with a lot of space for her is my new thing with this tank. So simple escape. So before we end the video, I'm gonna show you the tank in the hallway and uh, it's not looking super good or anything but it's a new scape and I want to get it in this video because we have several other shots of that tank in this video so let's go to that aquarium 
Actually, we can do old school style and go to the aquarium. A lot of guys has been with my channel for a long while complaining that I don't do this anymore. Just take the camera and go with. So that microsorum, the trident, it stayed. And otherwise, it's pretty much empty. But Pogostemon erectus. These were supposed to, in five days, they should have grown to like this. So you can get, imagine this green field here. But the plecos at night <laughs> started to lay on top of them and then whisk them up like this. <laughs> so they pretty much hate them. So I had to take some cable ties through some ceramic rings and push them down. And of course, during a week of just replanting, replanting, I lost a lot of the plants due to they break down and go into the filter. So, but it's gonna look cool, simple but cool because I want to enjoy my canister at Plecos. I'm gonna take this off the tripod. So now I can see into. I don't know if you can, but I can. We have one pleco there. One pleco in there. They are fully grown now. One pleco in there. L15. Uh, we have some cute little oaches in here. See if we can see them. Yep, there's one of them. And the other guy usually hangs out back here. I don't know. I have four of the Brisinos. No. <laughs> of the L15 pleco. And I hope they will breed for me. And of course. A few guppy fry is left. They can they can grow up in here instead. Maybe we get some cool colors and continue with more guppies in this tank. And but I think I will move them because I really want to try to breed those L15s. 